has been a while in the last uh, few days. We're at Missouri Bluffs Golf Course right now, which is the site of the US Open Qualifier. We were in Dallas. Paul played the Monday Qualifier for the Byron Nelson, and thankfully he had an early tee time because he got his round in. We, we went straight to the parking lot, got in the car, uh, and then drove 11 hours through the rain. Oh, but halfway there, we got a, a notification. Paul got a notification on his phone that said that the uh, play for the Byron Nelson had been suspended due to weather. Had he not had an early tee time, there's no way we would have gotten to St. Louis in time to play the US Open qualifier. So we drive 11 hours through the rain. Uh, my car, like, check engine lights coming on. We're like splashing through the hugest puddles on the highway. <laughs> We get here, Paul had an early tea time the next morning, so we check into the hotel. I try to find a hotel as close to the course as possible, and we did a pretty good job. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, no like a block away. Paul got in the car, turned on the navigation, and it was like, you have reached your destination. He, he comes over to the course at, I mean, he gets five hours of sleep, comes over to the course. I'm sleeping in, because I've got a later tea time. He walks up and he's like, uh, all right, I'm gonna get some uh, range balls to warm up. And they're like, okay, five bucks. What? <laughs> I don't have any money my fault. I should have been with him and he would have had money for range balls, but he didn't hit a single range ball. He went and teed it, shot 72 in really gnarly conditions. And so I see him at the turn. He's like, ah, uh, Sam, we might have a problem. Uh, I've played nine holes and I'm not really in the hunt, but he says, uh, you know, Eve's got to get to the airport by like 7.30 and I might be in a playoff because at that point, 72 was pretty- Tied for second. Tied for second, so it was, a, it was a pretty rough day. Anyway, I play my back nine, I'm thinking, okay, how's Eve gonna get to the airport? Because he had to catch a flight. Eve ends up walking off the course after 16, like four over par, thinking that four over is not even close, when really, if he'd made a few birdies coming in, he would have been in a playoff himself. He takes a cab to the airport. I come in, I sign my scorecard, and I say to the guy at the scoring table, I'm like, what's, what's in right now and he's like 72 is in, in a tie with seven other guys for one spot uh, so we're gonna have a playoff so now first hole the playoff seven guys Paul rips a driver right down the middle about 15 yards past everybody he proceeds to hit it to 15 feet makes his par five other guys make par one guy makes bogey so now they're down to six guys in the playoff second playoff hole is a 200 and what was it Paul like 210 maybe 205, a little bit downhill, a little bit into the wind. Paul's first to hit. So he grabs five iron, gets up there, and pures it. It lands about 15 feet right of the hole, spins a little closer. Paul looks at me and goes, is it on the green? So this is the green. I was standing pretty much right here. Paul had uh, about 18 feet, I guess, down the hill, big breaker, and he hit the putt, and I just I was like, get in, get in, get in. Get in there, get in there, get in there. How'd it feel, Paul, make that putt? Well, I got a good read off my playing partner, and uh, just saw it, felt it, and hit it, and it went in. It was a great feeling. I mean, it's just awesome. Great feeling, great day for the team. Hopefully we, uh, hopefully we get, get him through sectionals in Memphis. How'd it feel, Paul? Make that putt. It's really hot outside right now. <laughs> it never stops raining. Buffalo! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you have to break it now. <laughs> 